hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cash stuffing video okay guys so let's get started let's get to counting and let's get to our wallet that's the first binder i'm going to stuff so let's get started on counting okay so we have one two three four five that's a hundred right there okay and then we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 okay and then we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 dollars so 280 dollars and this is what i pay myself for may week five of my small business so again guys thank you guys for your orders is linked in the description box okay so let's get to my wallet which is called variable expenses so this is my wallet here and i'm gonna see what was left over in my wallet okay so groceries got spent toiletry still has five dollars in it so i am gonna leave the five dollars in toiletries there's only three envelopes i'm gonna stuff in my wallet so i'm just basically rolling over the money to the next week out to eat doesn't have anything in it kids doesn't have anything in it self-care has ten dollars and i'm due to do my eyebrows so i will be spending that this week spending i didn't spend any money as far as like anything for me that still has ten dollars and miscellaneous still has ten dollars so that's gonna stay in there okay so, so groceries is going to get ten dollars so i'm going to just put this ten dollars in here Toiletries is not gonna get anything. Out to eat is gonna get $15. 10 and a five. Okay. Kids is going to get $15. Self-care is not getting anything, spending is not getting anything, and miscellaneous is not getting anything. So that is everything for my wallet. Okay, so the next binder I'm going to do is going to be my six months of expenses. So six months of expenses is going to be this binder right here. So six months of expenses okay let's put this in the back okay so car note is going to get ten dollars and we have 20 30 in here so let's add 10 to this let's actually give it a 20 so let me put these two here and put a 20 in it so now it has 40 dollars and I'll write on my budget sheets later on. Okay, groceries is going to get $10. And so far we have 20, 25, 30, 35. So we're going to put 10 in here. We're actually going to put a 20 and put those two fives there. So that's 20, 45 for groceries. Mortgage is going to get $20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. We're going to put 20 in it. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4. So $104 for mortgage. This is the one I try to stuff the most. And also like my, um, from my sinking funds, the holiday, because that's going to come around soon. Car insurance is going to get $10. So, so far we have 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, $29. And this is going to get 
Okay. So now we have a total of 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have a total of $39 in car insurance. Okay, so cell phone is going to get $10. So, so far we have 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're going to add $10 to this. So now we have a total of 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So we have a total of $38 in cell phone. And I'm trying to reach six months of these expenses. It's going to take a while, but I'm glad that I'm starting somewhere. Okay, so water is going to get $10. So we have a total of 25, 30, 35. So $35 in water. Okay, electricity is going to get $10. So we have 20, 30, and now we have 40. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm just going to add a 20 to this here. So now a total of $40 in electricity. Okay, so that is going to be it for our six months of expenses. Now we are going to cash stuff our business bills. So this is the business binder right here. And I'm Shopify is due the payment for Shopify because you have to pay every month. That is going to be um, due June 2nd. And I think I have everything that I need for it now, but I am going to add $10 to this. So the $40 is going to come out soon. I think I have 40 here, 20, 30, 40. So I do have $40 in here. And I'm going to add $10 and that $10 should just accumulate and I'll have more for like the next month. So let's add $10 to Shopify. So we have one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to add a 20 to this. So now we have $50 for Shopify. Okay. So taxes is going to get $10. So we have so far $30 in there and we're just going to add 10 to it. Okay, and Cricut and Canva is going to get $10. So we have $20 in here. So now we have a total of $30 for Cricut and Canva. Okay, so that's going to be it for my business binder. And now we are going to cash stuff my sinking funds, my low priority sinking funds. Okay, so that is going to be this binder right here. Okay, so let me get to that. All right, so sinking funds. So kids is going to get $10. And so far in kids, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So now we have a total of $45 in kids. Okay. So birthdays is going to get $10. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that's going to be $45 in birthdays. Okay, back to school is going to get $10. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So now it has a total of $45 in back to school. Holidays is going to get $40. So let me count out 40. So this is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so let me add that here. Okay, so now holidays has 10, 15, wait. So now holidays has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then we have 105, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 109 dollars we have in holiday. So that is pretty good for holiday. And I think we have a total of 29, 29 weeks for Christmas. So that's good right there. And that's everything that's going to be for my sinking funds. Okay. 
So now we're going to move on to the savings challenges, which is my favorite part of the video. Okay, so let's get started on the savings challenges. All right, so first savings challenge is going to be self care, and that's going to get $10. So I'm going to color in two more hearts. Okay, and let's do it purple. And all of these are available in my shop, all these savings challenges. So that's going to get $10 there. Let me take all the money out. Okay, so our self-care savings challenge now has a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So $45 there. Okay. Okay, so holidays is going to get $10, and this is just an extra cushion for holidays, so I can be saving like two ways. So it's getting 10, let's add the 10 to it, and let's color two more of the presents. Okay. So now that has a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $50 in our holiday savings challenge. Okay. And my favorite challenge of all is going to be the roll the dice challenge. So I have $13 allocated for the roll the dice challenge. So I have $13 to play with. So let's get started. So let's roll the dice. Let's see how many times we can roll this dice. So let's take the challenge out. Okay. And let's roll this dice. Okay. So the first is going to be a four. So let's take out $4 here. And let's color in a four. So let's do the top one, and that is pink. Okay, so we have four dollars there. So let's roll one more time and see what we get. Okay, we have a total of two, and let's color in a two. Okay, let's do it on the fourth row. I feel like we always get two. Okay, so we're on the fourth row, and that's going to be purple. And I think I'm going to roll one more time. So I'm going to roll one more time. Okay, a three. So let's take out three dollars for this. And let's color in a three. Let's do the top one. Okay, so that's gonna be it for roll the dice challenge. And that's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have $4 left. I'm not going to roll the dice just in case I get a 6. So in our roll the dice challenge, we have a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So a total of $32. Okay. Okay, and the last binder I will be stuffing is going to be my 100 envelope challenge. And I have $27 for that. So let's see what we got here. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 
and I have a total of four dollars left. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that four dollars yet, but okay, guys. So my phone did die, and I recorded all of the hundred envelope savings challenge. So I'm just gonna go over it. So I had four dollars left from roll the dice challenge, and I just put it into my hundred envelope savings challenge. So I did stuff number eight, number nine, and number fourteen. So I had a total of for my hundred dollar challenge, I had a total of twenty seven. But with those extra four dollars, I was able to do fourteen because I was going to do ten. So just want to show you that I stuffed those. And I'm really super excited about this challenge. So there goes eight is stuffed. There goes nine stuffed and number 14 stuffed. So I still have a long way to go, but every week I'm going to try to pour into this. I feel like when you get to the end is when it really gets hard. Um, but we're going to do it slowly. So yeah, guys, this is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next Thursday in the next video. Bye.